Reverend Insanity Chapter 1686 Giant Monster Fang Yun After searching for so many days, Fang Yun found another grotto heaven, and it had not annexed any nine heavens fragment. But this is a transformation path grotto heaven. My transformation path attainment level is somewhat insufficient. Master, Grandmaster, Great Grandmaster, Supreme Grandmaster, Fang Yuan was a Grandmaster in Transformation Path. He was lacking attainment by an entire level. The lack of attainment level was not an issue because it could be resolved with Dream Realms. Southern Border had plenty of Transformation Path Dream Realms, which were enough for Fang Yuan to break through to Great Grandmaster attainment in Transformation Path. It was just that he would have to face some hurdles. Besides Dream Realms, Fang Yuan had another backup method for transformation path attainment level. It was to use Calamity Beckoning Immortal Goo, Immortal Tribulation Tempering Aperture, as well as Reckless Savage's true meaning in the Northern Icy Plain. The original owner of this grotto heaven was a transformation path, rank 8 Goo Immortal who had passed one myriad tribulation. Rank 8 Gu Immortals had to pass 3 Myriad Tribulations, after that was Rank 9. Myriad Tribulations were terrifying and were also called Apocalyptic Myriad Tribulation. To Rank 8 Gu Immortals, there was a huge danger of dying, but also the chance to rapidly progress in their cultivation. One Myriad Tribulation and two Myriad Tribulations were classifications of a Rank 8 Gu Immortals cultivation level. If Fang Yuan annexed this grotto heaven, his cultivation would immediately soar to one myriad tribulation level. Such terrifying progress could definitely make heavenly court panic. Duke Long and Bo King were also only at two myriad tribulations level. Passing the third myriad tribulation would be rank 9. Duke Long, however, knew he was not cut out for that so he merged his immortal aperture with heavenly court, changing to a phantom aperture. On the other hand, Bo King tried to advance but perished. Since this beast calamity grotto heaven has not annexed a nine heavens fragment, how did it pass the calamities and tribulations? It would not be easy for it to repeatedly pass calamities and tribulations just using its own strength. In the past, Lang Yalan's spirit was afraid of calamities and tribulations, so he lowered his grotto heaven to a blessed land. This was a very wise choice. Of course, the method to downgrade a grotto heaven to blessed land was extremely rare and was not something any grotto heaven could use. Heaven form flew in circles while transmitting information. Fang Yuan discovered a peculiar phenomenon. This grotto heaven's calamities and tribulations were of one kind. They were all beast calamities. Beast calamities were a type of tribulation. Sometimes, they would be formed from desolate beasts, and sometimes from ancient desolate beasts. In this grotto heaven, heavenly tribulations were desolate beast calamities, grand tribulations were ancient desolate beast calamities, and myriad tribulations were immemorial desolate beast calamities. What method is this? It can actually restrict the type of calamities and tribulations. If everything is a beast calamity, it will be really easy to deal with them. After all, beasts have physical form and are not difficult to block unlike rain, wind, and fog. As heaven forms continued to probe, Fang Yuan discovered deeper information. He sighed, So this grotto heaven is not restricting calamities and tribulations, but transforming any calamities and tribulations into a beast calamity. Truly an amazing method. There were many kinds of calamities and tribulations, but their formation would be influenced in this beast calamity grotto heaven, transforming into ferocious beasts in the end. Apart from calamity beckoning immortal goo and immortal tribulation tempering aperture, Fang Yuan finally encountered another method that was targeted towards calamities and tribulations. That was beast calamity transformation. Every grotto heaven that can continuously exist is not simple. Profound literature Grotto Heaven is like this. Beast Calamity Grotto Heaven is even more so. This is truly an unexpected surprise. This Grotto Heaven contains a huge population and countless resources, and more importantly, the method of Beast Calamity Transformation. I need to get this method, 
it will be very useful in dealing with my tribulations. Thinking of this, Fang Yuan transferred his white lichai immortal essence to the heaven form crane. A while light slowly expanded as Fang Yuan flew in. He was not blocked by any rank 8 Gu immortal this time because there was no rank 8 existence in this beast calamity grotto heaven. However, when he was entering, the whole grotto heaven started shaking. A profound and vast strength came from every direction, not only influencing the white light but also exerting pressure on Fang Yuan. What is this? Fang Yuan was slightly bewildered at first before quickly reaching realization. There was a strange expression on his face, so it is like this. I am not from this grotto heaven and came from the outside world. Because my strength is too powerful and the grotto heaven wants to reject me, it is treating me as a tribulation. This beast calamity grotto heaven could transform calamities and tribulations into all kinds of beasts. Currently, this force was influencing Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan pondered. It is possible to forcibly resist this strength, but I fear our fight might end up destroying this method. Although Heaven Form discovered several inheritance grounds which the original owner left, what if the Beast Calamity Transformation method is not recorded there? Just in case, it was better to maintain Beast Calamity Grotto Heaven in its original state and not destroy any crucial arrangement. Thinking of this, Fang Yuan boldly retracted his defenses. He then felt endless temporary transformation path Dao marks being added to his body. At the same time, his other Dao marks also changed into transformation path Dao marks. Amazing, amazing. Transformation path can project every path. Transformation path Dao marks can transform into any path's Dao marks. Right now, this transformation has been turned upside down. Changing other paths, Dao marks into transformation path Dao marks. Fang Yuan sighed and praised repeatedly. This method is beyond ordinary. It seems to involve the deepest profundity of transformation path. It feels like I only need to get in and out of here a few times and let this influence affect my body to comprehend the true essence of this method. Of course, the quickest method is to charge to those several inheritance grounds and seize the true inheritances there. I can check if there is the original record of Beast Calamity transformation. Fang Yuan's body was transforming and constantly expanding. He gradually turned unrecognizable as he transformed into a beast. If not for Heaven Form already inspecting clearly that this transformation had no side effects, Fang Yuan would not have dared to accept this kind of influence. Bellow. After a while, Fang Yuan turned into a large monster with a bull head and human body. He was as large as a mountain, his skin as tough as steel, bull hair filled his body, and his nose let out rough breathing noises as he took large steps forward. The whole beast calamity grotto heaven was shaken. Countless people looked at the sky and saw Fang Yuan. After a momentary daze, screams and shouts filled the sky. Mon monster. A monster has appeared again. This monster is so large, its aura is also completely different from the previous ones. Quick, quickly call our beast warriors. Under countless people's anxious anticipation, a combat beast warrior appeared. This was a middle-aged man with rank 7 Gu immortal cultivation level. But his aura was somewhat strange. He looked plain and his expression was serious as he moved to the top of the city wall. There is only one record of such a huge monster appearing in history. I can feel an incomparably terrifying force with just one glance at it. He sighed inwardly while clenching his fists, the fire of battle intent rising in his eyes. But for my homeland, to defend love and justice, I will defeat this monster no matter what. Come, my combat beast transform one. The middle-aged man shouted loudly and his whole body started to emit light. Shortly, an eagle cry could be heard. A silver-white giant eagle flew over from the horizon. This was an ancient desolate beast. The silver-white giant eagle's body also started to emit light. The middle-aged man jumped while the silver-white giant eagle swooped down. The lights on both grew increasingly brighter, 
and when the two met in the air, the two lights merged together. Boom. The lights dissipated. With an eagle head, human body, and two wings on his back, a beast warrior as tall as the city wall showed up. The crowd immediately cried out in joy. He's here, our eagle warrior has appeared. Go eagle warrior, kill this giant monster. We support you, you will definitely succeed. Amidst the crowd's cheers, eagle warrior flew to the sky and charged towards Fang Yuan. He cried out in his mind, I won't let anyone down. Come, let us have a great fight. Bam. A crisp sound echoed, the silent Fang Yuan slammed down on Eagle Warrior with a single slap. Boom. Eagle Warrior's body drew an arc in the sky like a falling meteor before fiercely colliding on the ground, forming a huge crater with dust flying everywhere. The crowd went silent. An intense dizziness almost sent Eagle Warrior unconscious. He used all his strength to conquer it before barely subduing the dizziness. He then slowly climbed out of the deep crater. What happened? I, I was actually slammed to the ground by this monster? Eagle Warrior reacted only after a long while. Recalling that scene, his eyes revealed an intense fright. That speed just now, this is absurd. How can such a large body move have such nimbleness? This is impossible. Chapter 1687, Monster Rampages Normally, such an enormous monster should have a boorish nature with great strength. It is impossible for it to have such agility and speed. Eagle Warrior stood up from the deep crater. His head was filled with cold sweat. Suddenly, he thought of a possibility. Wait a second. Could that attack be this monster's combat technique? He looked at Fang Yuan who had turned into a giant monster with bull head and human body, the enormous shadow shrouding Eagle Warrior. Eagle Warrior slowly regained his courage as he thought about this. You have a combat technique. I also have a combat technique. I already know your combat technique, but a stupid large animal like you cannot understand my combat technique. That's right, as long as I can grasp the opportunity, I definitely have the chance to win. Thinking of this, Eagle Warrior's eyes emitted hopeful light. He stood up, he stood up. That's right, how could Eagle Warrior be knocked out instantly? Go, Eagle Warrior, we believe in you. Seeing Eagle Warrior stand up, the dead silent city suddenly erupted into heaven-shaking cheers. An eagle cry resounded. Eagle Warrior flapped his wings and flew to the sky again. You have a combat technique. I also have a combat technique. Monster, let me show you my combat technique silver illusion, Eagle Warrior shouted. At the next moment, his body suddenly turned illusory, splitting into six illusory images. They were all lifelike and had no difference from the real body. In an instant, the real and fake eagle warriors surrounded Fang Yuan and flew above him in a circle. The commotion in the city immediately surged to a whole new level. Look, it is eagle warrior's silver illusion combat technique. He finally used it. Look, that monster looks dazed. It does not know which one to attack. The chance of victory is here. Go, kill that giant monster. Ah, Tilda, eagle warrior is truly too cool. Eagle Warrior heard the cheers of the crowd which amplified his courage and battle intent in his heart. But he was cool-headed inwardly. I must use this chance to make a definite strike. Even if I cannot kill this monster, I need to be able to heavily injure it. After all, combat techniques consume a huge amount of stamina and cannot be used repeatedly. That's why, even if this monster is powerful, it cannot repeatedly use its combat techniques I will first use illusions to make it attack and waste its stamina. After it depletes its own strength, when it has no stamina left, I might be able to capture it alive. Eagle Warrior actually wanted to capture Fang Yuan alive. Although Fang Yuan could not sense this thought, he clearly saw through Eagle Warrior's combat technique. Eagle Warriors constantly buzzed around Fang Yuan, occasionally, one or two suddenly swept down and attacked Fang Yuan with their sharp claws and beak. Fang Yuan stood on the spot without evading, 
these eagle warriors were all illusions with no real threat in their attacks. In Fang Yuan's eyes, it was a dead giveaway. Fang Yuan was calm and composed, laughing inwardly. This grotto heaven is somewhat interesting. First of all, the interaction between mortals and Gu immortals was interesting. They were harmonious. Different from the five regions outside world where mortals were like ants and Gu immortals were high and above, in this grotto heaven, Gu immortals were the guardian spirits of mortals. More importantly, they were even keen to take on this guardian duty. From this point, Fang Yuan could see the trace of a paradise. But this was not strange. Every grotto heaven formed its own small world. If there was little contact with the outside world of the five regions, the grotto heaven would form a different social structure and create a style unique to itself. Secondly, the battle style and cultivation method of Gu Masters and Gu Immortals here was interesting too. For instance, the opponent before Fang Yuan had merged with an ancient desolate beast silver white giant eagle to create a kind of human beast fusion battle form. This was clearly a transformation path method, and its advantage was extremely obvious. Normally, Gu Immortals would need to expend Immortal Essence to activate Immortal Gu or Immortal Killer moves, but the Gu Immortals here only needed to merge with a desolate beast and could possess combat techniques. The so-called combat technique was just the innate abilities of some desolate beasts or ancient desolate beasts. It was like Fang Yuan's upper extreme heavenly eagle which could enter and exit immortal apertures. This innate ability was known as combat technique by the people here. It did not expend immortal essence but had a huge demand on stamina, even having some other cost like sacrificing a part of the body or some lifespan. B. They combat techniques, immortal goo or immortal killer moves. If we trace their origin, they were all just in essence Tao. Because desolate beasts and ancient desolate beasts have dense Tao mark accumulation on their bodies, and the fact that certain areas in their bodies have a higher concentration of Tao marks, they would possess innate abilities or combat techniques. Immortal Gu were fragments of the Great Tao, they represented certain laws of heaven and earth. There was no need to talk about immortal killer moves, they were usually a combination of several immortal goo and a large amount of mortal goo. They were an organized combination of Tao marks and great Tao fragments which went through specific profound procedures to achieve a greater overall effect and power. In fact, the most primitive immortal killer moves had been created by goo immortals who used the Tao mark distribution of desolate beasts as reference. They imitated and experimented with these distributions and created immortal killer moves eventually. The Gu immortals here can merge with desolate beasts and ancient desolate beasts to use the beast's innate ability. They don't need to spend painstaking effort to refine any immortal Gu and can also save on the danger and cost of training and creating immortal killer moves. This advantage was truly prominent. Immortal goo were hard to find, and every immortal goo was unique. But there was a lot of desolate beasts and ancient desolate beasts. Even immemorial desolate beasts like the upper extreme heavenly eagle could be found in groups. The desolate beasts and ancient desolate beasts possessing innate talents would often look stupid because of their lack of intelligence. But after they merge with Goo Immortals, the Goo Immortals would possess their innate talents and they would also possess the Goo Immortals' wisdom. This was a win-win situation for both parties. Their advantages made up for each other's deficiency. But this method is not flexible enough. There is only a fixed method to use when fighting. Innate abilities are not varied enough and easily targeted and restricted. They are full of shortcomings. Fang Yuan also saw through the disadvantages. But overall, this method's advantages are still huge, far surpassing the disadvantages. If it is popularized, the five regions will definitely welcome it with open arms. Fortunately, this method was not leaked out in my previous life, otherwise my memories would have been completely different. Because this method was simply the best way to mass-produce Gu Immortal Battle Strength, Although it could not affect high-level battle strength, it was enough to turn around some situations. 
The five regions had many rank six Gu immortals who did not have even one immortal Gu. And these people were the majority of the Gu immortal world in every region. When one region had this method while another did not, and they had a fight, based on the mid to low level Gu immortal battles, the region with this method would have a high chance of winning. This fusion ability is not anything new, but it has never prospered. The greatest obstacle is the conflict between Tao marks. But this Grotto Heaven has a method to turn other Tao marks into transformation path Tao marks. So Gu Immortals can casually fuse with Desolate Beasts. This fusion method is the same as Beast Calamity's transformation method. After deducing this, Fang Yuan wanted possession of this transformation path method even more. I have proper things to do, these flies should stop bothering me. As he thought to himself, Fang Yuan activated a time path method. His current time path killer moves were no longer like before. Eagle Warrior was still probing when he shockingly discovered that time around him had slowed down by countless times. This time has become so slow, how is this possible? Eagle Warrior was thoroughly horrified. He was quite confident in his speed, but with time itself being influenced, he was unable to display his greatest advantage, speed. Let's end this. Fang Yuan extended his palms slowly. His ten fingers opened up and grabbed the two eagle wings. Darn it, darn it, move, move, eagle warrior roared inwardly, but despite using all his strength to fly, he only flew a meager distance. Swish! At the next instance, Fang Yuan exerted strength, tearing apart the two wings instantly. Ah, Eagle Warrior's expression was twisted in pain. Blood flowed out from the wounds on his back, gushing out wildly like a fountain. Eagle Warrior. No. Countless people cried out in shock. Fear and horror took over their high spirits from earlier. Some even fainted on the spot while some covered their faces. Fang Yuan slowly put his hands on Eagle Warrior's head. Eagle Warrior's heart thumped madly as he felt an intense aura of death. So this was its combat technique. Slowing down time, truly a terrifying combat technique. But, even if I die here, it was of some value. At least, I managed to expose its secret. Thinking so, Eagle Warrior screamed loudly. Monster, so what if you kill me? There are still many beast warriors coming to kill you. Your death is all but... Bam! Fang Yuan exerted strength in between his hands, and like a watermelon smashing on the ground, Eagle Warrior's head burst, white red brain matter and bones splattered everywhere. Fang Yuan relaxed his palms. Plop! The headless Eagle Warrior corpse fell on the ground, creating a dust cloud. Fang Yuan looked at the city. His body was gigantic, the tall city walls could only reach his knees. His expression was tranquil, but his bull head horrified countless people. White cloud moved beside his shoulders, and what should have been a clear sky was blocked by his enormous figure, his shadow shrouding everyone's heart. There was a huge crowd in the city, but no one made a sound. It was deathly silent. Fang Yuan slowly moved towards the city one. At the next moment, like an explosion, countless people began to scream and cry as they started escaping in all directions like headless flies. From high up in Fang Yuan's vision, these mortals looked like a group of ants that were dispersing through the four city gates. Fang Yuan ignored them and continued to move towards the city. Bam! His calf knocked into the city wall, instantly causing it to collapse entirely. He walked on the city's main street, but even if it were to enlarge by five to six times, Fang Yuan's heel would still cover the whole street. Buildings crumbled like small paper boxes as Fang Yuan knocked into them. There were also some unlucky mortals who were directly stepped into meat paste. Chapter 1688 Obstruction Bellow The monster Fang Yuan let out a roar, his giant body crossing a forest while destroying countless gigantic trees easily. Retreat, retreat! Deer Warrior was holding a long spear. He was coughing out blood as he went to face Fang Yuan. 
using his life to fight for time for Spirit Spring Forest's inhabitants. But in the end, Deer Warrior's neck was snapped by Fang Yuan, dying a miserable death. The image ended here creating a buzzing commotion in the hall. Tens of energetic and vigorous warriors men and women, old and young, were talking in low voices. Their speech and expressions were filled with shock and anger. At this time, an emaciated old man coughed twice from a raised platform. The hall immediately fell silent. All the beast warriors looked at the old man with respectful gazes. The old man spoke. You have seen the images since the bull-headed demon god descended. It has destroyed Sacred Eagle City, Dark Valley, and Spirit Spring Forest. A red-haired boar shouted, Lord Combat Beast King, what are we still waiting for? Almost all the Combat Beast warriors in the world are here and are waiting for your command to eradicate this bull-headed demon god. Yes, Lord, give us the command. We can't wait anymore. We have already gotten information about bull-headed demon god. Eagle Warrior and Deer Warrior died miserably at his hands. We must avenge them. Many combat beast warriors spoke. The collective mood in the hall was stirred into agitation. The old man only extended his hand and pressed down. The hall fell silent once again. He continued, Sigh, looks like you still don't truly realize the severity of this beast calamity. I know that everyone present here has outstanding battle achievements but this monster is different from normal. More accurately, if we don't deal with this properly, it might lead to the end of the world. What do you mean? This monster is strong indeed, but haven't there been giant monsters who have killed several combat beast warriors before? This monster is large and possesses two combat techniques. Its time-slowing combat technique is especially troublesome, but it can also be countered. The old man shook his head, saying with a solemn expression, This bull-headed demon god has bottomless strength. It could be said to be among the most terrifying beasts. You should know how the first-generation combat beast king died, right? All the combat beast warriors were visibly moved at these words. Lord combat beast king, you mean? No way, is this giant monster at that level? The old man nodded slowly. This star snail hall we are currently in is the corpse of star sea snail. The first generation combat beast king was the strongest combat beast warrior in history. But to kill the star sea snail, he had to sacrifice his life. And this bull-headed demon god is at the same level as the star sea snail. The old man's reply sent the hall into complete pin drop silence. So. The old man looked at his surroundings and continued, I assembled everyone to move together to kill this bull-headed demon god, but we actually don't have a high chance of winning. You must use all your strength for us to have a chance of victory. Please battle with the awareness that you are going to die. Awareness of death, someone mumbled. Hehe, <laughs> someone suddenly laughed. The mood suddenly became invigorated. The combat beast warriors had a similar fire burning in their eyes. Their battle intent soared. I already had the awareness of sacrificing for my homeland long ago. Yes, so what if I have to sacrifice my life in order to save the lives of my family and friends? We can't let this bull-headed demon god continue to wreak havoc. So what if it is comparable to the star sea snail? I believe my fist and I believe in everyone. Yes, I believe in my comrade's strength. The first generation combat beast king fought alone, but we are different, we have each other. Some people shouted, some people raised their arms, the morale continued to rise. The old man showed a gratified smile. Good, I am going to merge with the star sea snail's shell and transport you all. We will besiege the bull-headed demon god and catch it off guard. Remember, the future of this world is weighing on your shoulders. We understand. The star sea snail's shell began to shake. Fang Yuan was walking on a wasteland. He still had the appearance of a monster with a bull head and human body. His size was as tall as a mountain, his shoulders at the height of the clouds and his steps created craters. 
Each step of his produced an earth-shaking sound. The first-generation combat beast king should be this Grotto Heaven's original owner. Fang Yuan was already certain. He had destroyed three locations and took away inheritances of Beast Calamity Grotto Heaven's original owner. These inheritances were intact, and although they had lasted for many years, they were not taken away by other combat beast warriors. The cultivation method of merging with beasts is convenient, but unfortunately is not the proper goo cultivation method. This kind of path only gets narrower the more one walks on it, so these people aren't even aware of Beast Calamity Immortal's true inheritance. Hmm, who is it? Fang Yuan suddenly stopped. His gaze became vigilant. At the next moment, starlight overflowed and combat beast warriors appeared one after the other, surrounding him tightly. Monster, go and die. For the peace of the world, I will have no regrets even if I have to sacrifice everything. Everyone, attack together. Believe in yourself, believe in your friends. Even if the monster is stronger, it is not our match. The battle started suddenly. At the same time, at a certain seabed in Eastern Sea. Master, it's done. There are no longer any more dream realms coming out. Feng Jin Huang looked at the rank 8 Immortal Gu House Dragon Palace with excitement. Duke Long nodded. Our painstaking effort over the past few days was not in vain. The greatest obstacle is gone. Dragon Palace is covered by a layer of dream realms. Although the framework is not disturbed, the entire Immortal Gu House has already stopped working. It is the perfect chance for us to take it now. As Duke Long pondered, a past memory suddenly surfaced in his mind. The red longevity character written in the hall was very conspicuous. Duke Long sat at the main seat, surrounded by dragonmen. Grandfather, I am here to offer birthday wishes. I wish you blessings as deep as Eastern Sea and longevity as tall as southern border mountains. This is a desolate beast that I hunted personally for you. I hope Grandfather likes it. A dragonman youngster half knelt on the ground as he held a plate in front of him. There was a tiny seahorse on the plate. This is the desolate beast happiness seahorse. It is very fast and hard to kill. Seventh young master only has rank six cultivation level. It is very hard for him to kill it, but to think he actually captured it alive. I heard that in order to capture this happiness seahorse, Seventh Young Master spent a month at the bottom of the sea without moving. His filial piety is truly touching. The surrounding people discussed, there were human goo immortals as well, but most were dragonmen. Among these dragonmen, there were goo immortals as well as mortal goo masters. They were all Duke Long's descendants. Duke Long was the ancestor of the Dragonman, he created the Dragonman variant human race. Seventh Young Master, a rank six Dragonman Gu Immortal, was Duke Long's most beloved grandson. Good, good, Grandpa accepts your gift. Duke Long smiled affectionately. Distinguished guests and grandchildren filled the hall. This filled Duke Long's chest with warmth. But now, Duke Long suddenly returned to reality. There was only the dark and cold seawater around him and that deathly silent dragon palace. The past was no more. The warmth that once filled his heart had already been buried in history. Who is it? Come out. Duke Long suddenly spoke, his expression calm as his sharp gaze scanned several areas. As expected of heavenly courts, Duke Long, you have such keen perception. An old woman slowly revealed herself. She was hunchbacked. She had deep wrinkles on her face that resembled the pattern of a purple venomous snake, extending from her face to her arms and to her whole body. Duke Long, we are definitely going to obtain this immortal goo house. Another goo immortal appeared. He was dressed in a white robe. He looked young and was handsome. Your central continent wants to take what belongs to our eastern sea, HMPH. The third Goo Immortal snorted coldly. He was robust and his triangular eyes shone with cold light. The final Goo Immortal slowly approached Duke Long from behind. He wore a black robe. His face could not be seen. He was silent like an eerie ghost, filled with dark energy. 
Granny Rong, Yang Zai He, Shimayo, and Zhang Yin, you are all lone and demonic immortals of Eastern Sea's Gu Immortal World. Was it easy for you to cultivate to rank 8? Why are you sending yourselves to death by coming before me? Duke Long was still relaxed even when he was surrounded by four rank 8 Gu Immortals. No need to speak nonsense, let's fight, Shimayo took the lead. A huge battle erupted. Chapter 1689, Failure Immemorial White Heaven, Beast Calamity Grotto Heaven Bull Demon, face this move, a golden-haired ape shouted as it charged towards Fang Yuan while carrying the might of wind and thunder. Bull-headed demon god Fang Yuan stood on the spot without moving, quietly looking at the golden-haired ape approaching him. Only when the ape reached in front of him did he lift his hand slightly. Swoosh! At the next moment, his fist that was raised from kneel level suddenly appeared right before his chest. A straight punch. It was an ordinary movement, but in Fang Yuan's current state, it had terrifying might. Before the golden-haired ape could react, it felt an incomparable strength that sent it flying backwards. Bam! After flying a short arc in the air, the golden-haired ape crashed into a mountain. Rocks and boulders were smashed and fell down, burying him. What kind of strength is this? Even golden ape is not its match. I have never seen such strength matched with such speed. It is indeed a monster on the same level as the star sea snail. Besides the buried golden ape, there were several combat beast warriors around the battlefield. But right now, they all felt a chill as they saw golden apes ending. Pull yourself together. This is clearly a combat technique. It will expend its stamina intensely if it uses it many times. One of the combat beast warriors, Lightning Lion, roared. Fang Yuan had already defeated most of the combat beast warriors sent by combat beast king, but there were still five who had some strength left. They were the strongest five combat beast warriors. There were two lion warriors, Lightning Lion and Dharma Lion. The former had a lion head and human body and grasped lightning powers, while the latter had a human head and lion body and had extremely powerful recovery. A mountain-sized mollusk called Stone Mollusk. Its two large shells were open and could spit out countless meteor-like stones. A gigantic rhinoceros that looked like it was forged from steel, it was called Steel Rush. The last one was an exquisite frost butterfly with the size of an adult's fist. It had a human shape with butterfly wings and could let out powerful frost energy. Ha <laughs> ha, stupid bull, you are trapped. Unknowingly, the exquisite frost butterfly had appeared above Fang Yuan's head. Frost energy burst forth, covering Fang Yuan's head and shoulders and quickly spreading down. Roar! Steel Rush let out a loud roar as it rushed straight towards Fang Yuan, causing an earthquake. Have a taste of my new combat technique. Stone Mollusk suddenly started moving in circles rapidly, letting out an astonishing speed as it closed in on Fang Yuan. Its two shells opened and it clamped down on Fang Yuan's whole lower half. At the next moment, Steel Rush fiercely knocked Fang Yuan to the ground. Freezing air had frozen Fang Yuan's arms in a large block of deep blue profound ice. The time is now, Lightning Lion and Dharma Lion attacked Fang Yuan's head from the left and right. Die! The five of them shouted together, their battle intent soared to their peak state. Boom! An intense explosion occurred, causing boundless surging air currents. The five combat beast warriors were like small planks in a hurricane as they coughed out blood and were sent flying away by the air currents. In the dust cloud, a mountain-sized black figure was gradually revealed. Fang Yuan quietly stood on his original spot. He looked at the five combat beast warriors that wanted to fight him struggle on the ground, before continuing to move ahead. Bam bam bam. His every step shook the surrounding land and left behind large footprints. Damn it. Don't leave. Stop, stop it. Combat beast warriors struggled to stand up, but only Lightning Lion was able to barely stand up. It is Lightning Lion. 
Go, you must stop this monster. Lightning Lion charged towards Fang Yuan without any fear once again. His gaze was filled with resolute light. If you want to slaughter the others, you will have to step past my corpse. Boom. No one saw how Fang Yuan attacked. They only saw Lightning Lion getting slammed back at an even faster speed. The giant lion's body was dragged along the ground, creating a 30-meter-sized gully before it stopped. Lightning Lion fainted, there was no movement from him anymore. Fang Yuan continued moving forward. He had controlled himself and did not take the lives of these people. Different from when he had just invaded, after inheriting several inheritances, his attitude had already changed. Right now, the way he looked at it, everything in this beast calamity grotto heaven was his property. This naturally included these combat beast warriors. There is the final inheritance ground left. As long as I take this inheritance, I can combine all the inheritance contents and obtain the complete contents. Soon, Fang Yuan reached before the Star Sea Snail. The Star Sea Snail was an immemorial desolate beast, but the one in front of Fang Yuan was only its corpse. Beast Calamity Immortal had been heavily injured when fighting the Star Sea Snail and had suffered a fatal, irrecoverable wound. On his deathbed, he had left behind the inheritances and also forged this Star Sea Snail into the final inheritance ground. Bull-headed demon god, I have been waiting for you. This generation's combat beast king stood on the top of the star sea snail and looked at Fang Yuan. He was already very old and was like a small ant when compared to Fang Yuan's size. But this ant's eyes burned with blazing flames. Starlight suddenly shined on the star sea snail's body and covered the old man's body. Several breaths later, the starlight became eye-piercing. After the starlight dissipated, a heavily armored giant stood in front of Fang Yuan, only slightly shorter than Fang Yuan. Oh, so this method is not limited to live beasts, it can even be used on an immemorial desolate beast's corpse. Fang Yuan was inwardly surprised. But shortly afterwards, he understood. This transformation path method was reliant on Tao marks and did not differentiate between alive or dead targets. Although the star sea snail was dead, its shell still retained a vast number of star path Tao marks which could be used by the old man. This should be this grotto heaven's greatest trump card, right? Unfortunately, even if it were a living star sea snail, it would be no match for me, let alone its corpse that has lost so many Tao marks since its death. Fang Yuan mentally sneered as he charged towards the star armored giant. The battle was intense, but the result was within Fang Yuan's expectations. In the scarred battlefield, Fang Yuan was still standing proudly, while the star-armored giant was collapsed on the ground on the verge of death. There is no hope. The other combat beast warriors who had come to help out in the battle were kneeling on the ground. Their faces were pale. Starlight shined. The star armored giant once again turned back into the current generation combat beast king, and there was also the star sea snail shell with cracks all over it. Fang Yuan examined for a while and discovered the profundities within the star sea snail. He laughed and suddenly spoke, Beast Calamity Heavenly Spirit, are you still not coming out? All the combat beast warriors were dumbstruck and shaken. I, I, what did I just hear? That giant monster spoke. It can actually speak human language. Am I hearing things because I am too old and am about to die soon? The combat beast king mumbled with a dull expression. But at the next moment, an even more astonishing scene played out. Beast Calamity Heavenly Spirit flew towards Fang Yuan along with several immortal goo. The Heavenly Spirit was in the form of a young killin, it spoke with a crisp and clear sound. Foreign Gu Immortal, although you came here and obtained many inheritances, you have not obtained my full recognition. You recklessly killed innocent people and rampaged wildly. You are powerful, but you can only obtain my main body's immortal killer moves. As for Immortal Gu and this Grotto Heaven's inheritance rights, don't even think about it. Oh, Fang Yuan let out laughter filled with deep meaning. 
the young Killen was solemn. I know what you are thinking, even I won't be able to win against you if you use force. But I can make these immortal goo self-detonate and destroy the grotto heaven. You will gain nothing from this. Fang Yuan was silent. He felt somewhat troubled when he saw the young Killen's resolute look. A heavenly spirit was like a land spirit, it would not lie. Fang Yuan was unable to inspect where Beast Calamity Immortal's immortal goo were, and his blood light spirit suppression was not high enough level to pose sufficient threat to the Grotto Heaven's heavenly spirit. So it was like this. The combat beast warriors here were originally a part of the inheritance. I realize Beast Calamity Immortal's intention. After a long while of silence, Fang Yuan suddenly spoke. Even if you understand now, it is too late. Everyone only has one chance. But you are not leaving empty-handed. According to the main body's arrangements, immortal killer moves will be handed to you. The heavenly spirit had made its point clear, it wanted him to leave. After Fang Yuan obtained these immortal killer moves, he did not remain or use force, leaving Beast Calamity Grotto Heaven through the entrance, which was opened by the heavenly spirit. Eastern Sea. The battle between five rank eight Goo Immortals was astonishing. Large sea waves and tsunamis surged, dark clouds rumbled in the sky with lightning flashing and thunder roaring. Undercurrents rose in the sea, poison path, water path, soul path, and all kinds of terrifying methods had already exterminated all living beings in the surroundings. If you have any methods left, use them. Duke Long was still relaxed. Feng Jin Huang was standing beside him. She was completely safe with not even a hair out of place. But right now, her face was filled with shock. After all, this was the first time she was seeing the fight between rank 8 Gu Immortals at such a close distance. This had truly broadened her perspective. Granny Rong, Yang Zaihe, and others were solemn and distressed. After truly exchanging moves, they tasted Duke Long's power. Although Duke Long was alone and had a burden, Feng Jin Huang, the four Eastern Sea Rank 8s were actually unable to gain an upper hand since the start. Despite the four immortals using all their strength, they were unable to change the situation. Right now, they already saw signs of defeat. He already has Quasi Rank 9 strength, besides an immortal venerable or a demon venerable, we have no way to deal with him. Such powerful strength, as expected of Heavenly Court, as expected of Duke Long. The morale of Granny Rong, Yang Zai He, and the others had already sunk to rock bottom. Damn it, we plotted to get Dragon Palace for so long, but Heavenly Court is going to take it away. Sigh, let's go. We are not Duke Long's match, and with us being on guard against each other, we cannot cooperate completely, there is no meaning in staying. Seeing there was no choice, the four Eastern Sea Rank 8s left immediately. Duke Long did not give chase. His goal this time was Immortal Goo House Dragon Palace, and his goal never changed. Dragon Palace was corroded by Dream Realms and has already fallen apart. I wonder how many Goo are still remaining. How many core Immortal Goo are damaged? Duke Long sighed inwardly as he moved to take Dragon Palace. Hmm. At the next moment, an astonishing scene occurred. Dragon Palace suddenly let out an extraordinary splendor and flew to the sky. Duke Long remained standing on the spot. He was not able to obstruct Dragon Palace in time and could only look as it flew away. A trace of blood flowed out from the corners of his lips as his eyes revealed shock. Dragon Palace is actually completely intact. Not only this, one of its cores is a dream path immortal goo. Ha ha ha, Duke Long, let's see how you fight against us this time. The four Eastern Sea Rank 8s had returned. Duke Long's expression sank. The situation had turned troublesome. He was besieged and Dragon Palace had flown away while spreading its aura everywhere. It would definitely create turmoil in Eastern Sea. Chapter 1690 Myriad Beings Assimilation Transformation Immortal Killer Move Myriad Beings Assimilation Transformation Fang Yuan mumbled. 
He was sitting on the auspicious cloud moving through empty air in immemorial white heaven. It was vast and boundless. After leaving Beast Calamity Grotto Heaven, he actively absorbed the benefits from this trip. Beast Calamity Immortal's unique method was Immortal Killer Move Myriad Beings Assimilation Transformation. After using this move, it could add a great number of transformation path Dao marks and also transform the target's other Dao marks into transformation path Dao marks. This move expended an enormous amount of immortal essence and also required abundant emotions. These emotions had to be positive and righteous. From this point, Fang Yuan finally realized the cause of the nature of those combat beast warriors in Beast Calamity Grotto Heaven. Fang Yuan did not lack immortal essence. Over this period of time, although he had spent a lot in advancing the ranks of his immortal Gu, his gains were similarly a lot. Especially in the later stage of Gu refinement, Fang Yuan's progress was huge and his expenditure had continued to fall. Currently, Fang Yuan's total amount of rank 8 immortal essence was a lot and could support two battles of rank 8 level intensity. Fang Yuan had abundant emotions as well. He could easily create the positive emotions through wisdom path methods. His wisdom path attainment was very high after all. What Fang Yuan lacked were immortal goo. There were four immortal goo that formed this move. Among them the core was a rank 8 immortal goo adaptation. It went without saying that this was a transformation path immortal goo, and was also the vital goo of beast calamity immortal. The other three immortal goo were all rank 7. Even if the heavenly spirit does not give me these immortal goo, I can snatch them. I have already improved Great Thief Ghost Hand, and it is now much more reliable. Currently, I only need Heaven Form to constantly scout and find the place where these immortal goo are hidden, then I can use my Theft Path method to get them. However, it is somewhat troublesome to obtain the whole of Beast Calamity Grotto Heaven. As far as Fang Yuan was concerned, Beast Calamity Grotto Heaven itself had an enormous value to him. But the Heavenly Spirit was able to destroy the Grotto Heaven, so if he rashly used force, his losses would far outweigh his gains. From my deduction based on this myriad being's assimilation transformation, Beast Calamity Grotto Heaven's Goo Immortals might also have a trump card. Desolate Beasts and Ancient Desolate Beasts could be used for myriad beings' assimilation transformation, so could the Star Sea Snail Shell. These Goo Immortals did not grasp myriad beings' assimilation transformation. The reason was that Beast Calamity Immortal used this move on the entire Beast Calamity Grotto Heaven. That meant, if the situation came to it, the entire Beast Calamity Grotto Heaven could merge with the Goo Immortals through Myriad Beings Assimilation Transformation. This could create a temporary Rank 8 battle strength. Naturally, Fang Yuan could win against this kind of Rank 8, but all of the resulting losses would be incurred on Fang Yuan. Even if he won, Beast Calamity Grotto Heaven, which had used Myriad Beings Assimilation Transformation, would suffer severe damage. This means, I need to deduce a way to restrict them from using Myriad Beings Assimilation Transformation with the entire Beast Calamity Grotto Heaven. Also, I can use Familiar Face to invade once again. Beast Calamity Heavenly Spirit said a person only had one chance to inherit it. But how strong could its detection ability be? Could it distinguish Fang Yuan's true identity? According to Fang Yuan's deduction, this possibility was very low. However, just as Fang Yuan was deducing restraining methods, he obtained some news. This news was important. Dragon Palace has appeared. Moreover, Duke Long personally made a move, but was not able to acquire it. Oh, it was because he was obstructed by an alliance of four Eastern Sea Rank 8 Gu Immortals. Interesting. Currently, the Rank 8 Immortal Gu House Dragon Palace is flying in the skies of Eastern Sea without hiding its aura. It has already created a huge commotion. Countless forces and Gu Immortal experts are paying close attention to it. Fang Yuan's eyes shined brightly. He knew of Dragon Palace's existence. There were relevant clues in Shadow Sect's true inheritance. 
But these clues were only superficial clues and were not significant enough. The most valuable content recorded was, Dragon Palace had a restriction that its inheritor must be a dragonman. Although Fang Yuan wanted to own a rank 8 immortal Gu House, he never had a good opportunity or time. Although he had Bai Ning Bing, it would be difficult to search for Dragon Palace, and it would take a great amount of time and energy. According to the previous situation, although the rank 8 immortal Gu House was strong, were Fang Yuan to take the risk to search for it and end up unable to obtain it. He would quickly be pursued and hunted by Heavenly Court. The benefits were huge, but the risk was even greater, so Fang Yuan had not made a move. So Heavenly Court had been secretly searching for Dragon Palace and almost got it. Knowing this, Fang Yuan could not help but praise those four Eastern Sea Rank 8s, great job. He did not think for long. Fang Yuan immediately left Immemorial White Heaven and moved towards Eastern Sea. Beast Calamity Grotto Heaven was here and would not be discovered easily. He could deal with it slowly. Dragon Palace's matter was urgent. He could not let Heavenly Court take it. This was a Rank 8 Immortal Goo House and had an unknown dream path Immortal Goo. Days later, Eastern Sea. Boom. Amidst an intense explosion, Gu Immortal Shimayo spat out a large mouthful of blood while retreating rapidly. Duke Long gave a loud roar. His body turned into light rays as he charged at Immortal Gu House Dragon Palace. The distance between the two was rapidly shrinking, but at the crucial moment, Granny Rong moved and blocked Duke Long. Her whole body was releasing purple gas. She was heavily injured and was pale as paper. Duke Long's momentum was ferocious, but his pupils shrunk when he saw the purple poisonous air around Granny Rong. He rapidly changed his direction and detoured. Granny Rong was a poison path goo immortal. This purple poisonous air was her trump card, and even Duke Long was not willing to touch it. Granny Rong was not in a good state. Over these days of fighting, her loss was the greatest. One of her core immortal goo was destroyed. Her speed fell greatly, and she was forced into an extremely passive state. She had relied on her determination and the help of the other three Gu Immortals to persist till now. It was very wise of Duke Long to detour around Granny Rong. Granny Rong could only watch Duke Long with a bitter expression but was unable to give chase. Among the four rank eights, the other two were still several lie away. Boom! Duke Long flew above Dragon Palace and slammed at this rank 8 Immortal Goo House heavily. Bam! The Immortal Goo House fell into the sea, immediately raising an enormous wave. Dragon Palace acted on its own, it did not fly to the sky again, instead moving deeper into the sea. Duke Long was about to give chase when suddenly, his body paused and he struck towards the area left of him. There looked to be nobody to his left, but his ferocious attack was suddenly stopped. It was blocked by a goo immortal. The goo immortal revealed his figure and smiled at Duke Long. As expected of Senior Duke Long, you could see through my disguise. Duke Long frowned, sneering, Song Kai Yuan. You are the first supreme elder of Song Clan, a rank 8 goo immortal, but you actually sneak attacked. The Gu Immortal was Song Kai Yun. It seems Eastern Sea's righteous path is finally making a move. Who else is there? Come out now. Duke Long glanced below at the sea. Dragon Palace gradually disappeared from his sight. He did not give chase, instead hovering in the air while letting out terrifying battle intent. At the next moment, two more Gu Immortals showed themselves. One was a middle-aged man in blue robe. He was King Yu Clan's first supreme elder King Yuan. Another looked to be a young girl with bright eyes. Exquisite rainbow clouds coiled around her body. She was Hua Clan's first supreme elder Hua Kai Yun. Lord Duke Long Hua Kai Yun was just about to speak. Enough nonsense, Duke Long shouted and took the initiative to attack. Boom, boom, boom. Several immortal killer moves were exchanged. The three Righteous Path rank 8s were immediately suppressed and forced back. Duke Long is too powerful. 
he can easily suppress three Eastern Sea rank eights by himself. Fang Yuan was inwardly shocked. He had transformed into a sea snake and was currently swimming in the sea. Righteous Path rank eights were often stronger than lone rank eight cultivators. This was because they had more exemplary immortal killer moves and ample cultivation resources. The alliance of these three Righteous Path rank eights could absolutely win against the four-person alliance of Granny Rong, Yang Zai He, Zhang Yin, and Shimayo. But they were still not Duke Long's match. Duke Long was too ferocious. He was only using transformation path methods even until now and had not used his most proficient Kai path killer moves. From this, one could see how powerful Purple Mountain True Monarch was. He had actually forced Duke Long to use his signature Kai path killer moves. It was not that Purple Mountain True Monarch was weak, but Duke Long was simply too strong. Fang Yuan looked at the distant dragon palace and slowly left the battlefield. Since Song Kai Yuan, King Yu An and others appeared, it meant Eastern Sea's righteous path had already discussed and made decisions. Among the five regions, Eastern Sea was the richest in resources and thus had the highest number of rank 8 Gu immortals. Only three righteous path rank 8s have appeared currently, there are definitely more coming. Fang Yuan decided to bide his time. Sure enough, like he expected, two more Righteous Path rank 8s showed up and obstructed Dragon Palace. Zhang Yin, Granny Rong and others quickly came and fought these two Righteous Path rank 8s. A huge battle erupted under the sea. Fang Yuan quickly hid in the mud at the bottom of the sea, waiting for a good opportunity to strike.